Good morning, my beautiful panda pack, and welcome, or welcome back to the channel. And as you know by the title, today we are making protein muffins. And, uh, yeah, so you don't need too much. Uh, you definitely need a like a flour source uh, I am using this is gonna be like a quick like protein muffin thing so you need a pancake mix and uh, maybe like banana if you like that and so you need the pancake mix and you definitely need the protein powder and an egg so you don't have to use everything I'm using. I'm adding peanut butter, um, but if you want to make this recipe exactly how I'm doing it, you'll need peanut butter, vanilla extract, honey, bananas, oats, protein powder of your choice, pancake mix, water, and cocoa, and I'm putting cinnamon. I didn't write it down, but okay. Um, and I didn't write down egg. Sue me. So, I'm going to use, because most of you probably have this size of egg at home, I have like jumbos right now as well, but I'm going to use one large egg so that you guys know what size of egg you'll need. Oof, smack. Hope it's, it's probably fine. <laughs> so, let's start with... Okay, so the stuff you need, I'll start with telling you that, is a spatula is handy, you don't have to have it, but it's handy. Uh, measuring spoon, you don't even have to have that really. Uh, like a fork and some other utensil type stuff. A one-fourth measuring cup, oh, a butter knife to level the pancakes, and two bowls, one for wet, one for, this one's for dry, this one's for wet. And what you really need, you don't have to have it, but a cooking scale would be very, very, very handy and helpful for this recipe because I'm weighing out pro uh, the peanut butter and um, uh, the honey. I'm weighing out a bit of honey. Did I even write down honey? I didn't even write down honey. I did. <laughs> Okay, we are a disaster. We're just gonna ignore it and go with it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with some wet ingredients. Uh, so, peanut butter. <laughs> uh, I've done these once before, um, changing up the recipe a bit, but if it's not delicious, this you won't even be watching this video. So, you'll know it's delicious if the video made it up. <laughs> so I have my device uh, tablet thing that I'm not using to film with because I'm using my iPad to film with. And I, so you need like a calculator. Actually you don't because I'm the one calculating things. But if you're changing up the recipe, you will need a calculator. I'm, here's my calculator. So. Let's start with peanut butter. So peanut butter is, each serving is 100 calories and it's one tablespoon, so 16 grams. Hmm, I think I'll put like five, is that too many? So 16 grams times five, 80 grams of peanut butter. So that's 500 calories and I'm making like, I don't know, maybe even a dozen. So, you know what, I'm going to get you guys closer, so here we go. Okay, so here we are, with the peanut butter, here's our bowl, and I'm going to turn on the scale with the bowl on it, and we're going to start scooping peanut butter, just like, get the oil off. Okay, oh no, did it turn off? Okay, no, we're good. 15 grams. Oh god, I'm making a mess. <laughs> okay, 
so I'm just gonna be right back. Okay, so now we have our 80 grams or our 500 calories of peanut butter. Now I'm just gonna turn the scale off. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of honey. I really don't want to put sugar. The bananas, the protein powder will be enough with a bit of honey, I think. So I'm going to turn the scale back on so that it goes to zero. And we have 60 calories per 20 grams. So let's see if we can't add like 40. Oof, this honey is like kind of crystally now. Maybe I'll just get away with 20. Nineteen, twenty-two. Oh. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, so we got our honey in. I'm just gonna turn the scale back off, and now it's back to zero again. I turned it off and then on, so we're back to zero again. So I ordered. I I put in a serving and a half of honey because it was so hard to get it out. So. I'm just gonna hope it's good enough, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hope it's good enough. So, next, I'm gonna add a pinch of cinnamon. Uh, don't add too much. I don't feel like taking a serving spoon and like measuring it, so just add like a pinch. Don't add too much. And I'm just gonna add like one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Probably a little bit under. Just there we go. So just like stir your ingredients and get the honey kind of all in there with, oh it smells so good, with the peanut butter and kind of just smooth it out, sorry about the noise and then I'm going to add two bananas, so you can just add one, um, you can have them be this ripe or you can have them be less ripe, you can mash them into paste or you can cut them, um, I'm just going to kind of do sort of half and half, like I'm just going to mash them up sort of lazily so that they stay a little chunky, but that's what I'm going to do. You can do whatever you want. Okay. So, just take your fork. I'm just going to leave them kind of chunky, like I said, and just kind of stir everything together. All right, so here we have our banana, uh, I was going to say pudding, but it's not pudding, it's banana peanut butter mush, so then add your large egg, and we'll start on the wet ingredients after we just stir it up. Now you could stir the egg in something else first and then pour it in. But I'm lazy and I like to do it this way, so I'm just gonna do it this way. <laughs> Alright, so now we have our disgusting slop, but it's gonna be delicious when it's done, I promise. So for the pancake mix, now this is a like flaxseed, like whole grain like multi-grain sort of mixture of things. I I don't like it that much. I don't really recommend it unless you really like flax seeds. Um, but it's, you know, I spent $6 on it and I figured, where's my butter knife? I figured if I spent $6 on it, I might as well try and use it. And the knife got dirty because I dug honey out with it. So, one sec. Okay, so I got my butter knife. Now, you can use any, like, amount of servings that you 
want for this, I'm going to use three servings. Each serving is one fourth of a cup. I will do all the math with the calories uh, off camera after. Oh, and before you start any of this, preheat your oven to 350, by the way. <laughs> I know that's a little late, but. Okay, so one, two, three servings of the pancake and or waffle mix. <laughs> I recommend just using a whole wheat uh, pancake mix, just buying a whole wheat pancake mix, because this, I do not like it very much, I'm just trying to use it, <laughs> use it up. So, we, 15, I don't actually think this bowl is too heavy to, to put on the scale. I don't know if I could just put this little thing on the scale, if it doesn't fall, oh god, okay, well let's just use this one then. Okay, so we're just going to weigh out oh uh, 15 grams of cocoa, hmm, maybe like 20 grams, 20 grams of cocoa, oh my goodness, that's a lot of cocoa, <laughs> that's okay, it'll be really chocolatey, I've been really craving carbs and chocolate, so this is like a better alternative for me personally. <laughs> you can freeze these too. Um, yeah, so now I have 20 grams or 4 servings of cocoa, which is like, I don't know, 30 calories? I don't know by the end. So we have our dry, and I'm going to use, I don't want to use too many oats because, well, it'll like expand a lot. I don't like them that much. I just thought it would be kind of good to bulk it. Let's just move this over here. I'm going to put in one fourth of a cup. I'm making a big mess, so try not to do that. Then I'll clean it up after. <laughs> There's our one fourth of a cup of oats. And you can put, you can put more. Um, you can put less. You can put none. You can do whatever you want. So, protein. So I'm going to use one cup or one serving of the caramel vega. Right there. And here we are. So I'm going to write down everything I just put in there and the serving sizes. And combine everything and add water. So I'll just be right back. All right. So I've written down every portion size so that I know what I'm putting in. And now we're just gonna sift our dry goods. You can do this with like a fork, or if you have something like this, you know, use whatever you want. Okay. So now it's all together. You don't need, if you're using the pancake mix, you don't need any, like, baking powder or baking soda or anything like that if you're using pancake mix, because the idea of these is to make them, like, quick. And honestly, for me, it's kind of handy, because I don't like that pancake mix very much. The chocolate makes it, you know, tolerable. <laughs> so, that's definitely side for me. <coughs> and spatulas are really good. The rubber ones, because then you can get like most of the crap out. So yeah, as you can see, just combine the wet and the dry and start stirring. So I want you guys to know how much water to add. So I'm just going to get my half cup and start with a half cup. And, you know, you could use some almond milk or something if you really wanted, but I don't think it'll make any difference in the flavor at all. And it'll just add calories, and water is, as you know, no calories at all. So that's good. Okay, so it's really thick, so I'm going to add a one-fourth cup. Oof. Now 
ounce is looking like a big, messy, goopy goop of goop. And that's pretty good. Oh, it smells so good, actually. <laughs> hmm. This could use more, more oats. I don't want it to be too oaty, like I said, because I'm not a big fan of oats. Mm, don't taste it because there's egg in it, but you can smell it. it smells pretty good. It smells sweet, so that's good. All right, well, I don't want to add too many oats, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And now what you want to do is get your baking, whatever you want to use. You can make, even make a cake if you really wanted, like a banana bread style sort of cakey sort of thing. But I really want, like, muffins, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my fork. So try to get the same amount in each one and leave a little bit of room for it to rise. I'll show you because we want to calculate our calories perfectly in each one because we're going to add in all of the ingredients. I'm going to do all the math off camera and then tell you each protein. They're probably about 200 each. So yeah, just try to make them even and just do that throughout the whole thing. Okay, so once you've got your first tray, God, they look so terrible, but they'll look good in the end, I promise. So, get your first tray, and I probably have two or three left to put it in here. Uh, you know, if you want to spray these with uh, butter or whatever, that's your prerogative. I personally don't want the extra calories, and, you know, silicone is pretty easy to just pop right out. Uh, well, something just dawned on me. It might be easier to get each one the same size if you use, like, this maybe um, but I'm just gonna pray that they only vary by a few calories each or something and uh, once you get your trays filled put that <laughs> excuse me put these both in the oven for I'm gonna say 20 minutes but I'll let you guys know if I had to extend that so 20 minutes at 350 so see you guys soon Okay, so now I have my muffins placed. It made 10, so I'm going to put them in for 20 minutes and then check on them and get back to you guys then. Hey guys, so the muffins are... Oh yeah, they feel totally done. So 20 minutes was totally enough. Uh, don't do this at home. <laughs> I don't want to use my oven mitt, so I just, I'm just grabbing them with my towel position. Alright, now you let them cool, and you know, I'll try them, and here, one sec. So yeah, I'm going to try them after they cool. Uh, I'm not comfortable with trying them on camera if that's okay. But, uh, if they're disgusting, this video will never see the light of day, so you'll know they're good if the video exists. So, I'm gonna just tell you guys what the final recipe was, and the final calories, so you know. Excuse me. So you know how many calories are in the recipe. So, 5 tablespoons of peanut butter, or... 80 grams of peanut butter, same, same thing, 500 calories, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, it's like, I don't know, something like 20 or 30 calories, I don't know, to be honest, it depends on your vanilla extract, mine didn't even say, so I'm just going to glaze over that one and say it's like 20, 1 tablespoon and a half tablespoon of honey, or 30 grams of honey, which was 90 calories, two bananas, probably about 180, so like 90 each, one-fourth of a cup of dry oats, 75 calories, rounding up a couple, uh, one scoop of protein, 110 calories, or whatever protein powder you have, three scoops, one-fourth of a cup is each scoop, so three servings of pancake mix, 420 calories, three-fourths of a cup of water, no calories at all, 
and one egg. 70 calories. So the muffins, it was 10 muffins. So all of these, all of these calories together was like uh, 1,500. So that is 150 calories per muffin, or 152 calories technically, but you know, there we go. So I love you guys in, well, I mean, maybe I should at least tell you if the muffins are good. So be right back. Hey guys, so I tried a little piece ooh, hat, of this one. They're actually really good. Uh, they're not that sweet. Um, I don't know, maybe that's a good thing, but you could add maybe like three servings of honey or more banana or chocolate chunks, uh, cane sugar, maple syrup. But honestly, if you're good with them being kind of savory with sort of like you can feel a sweet aftertaste, they're totally perfect. So... Yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and you know, if, if you really like videos like this, give it a like, and then I'll know to make more for you guys. So yeah, remember, always love yourself and be yourself, because those who matter don't mind, and those who mind don't matter. Bye.